Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website and sign up for our blog so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques to help you with your company dashboards. Uh, so today, uh, Parit had a question in a form and didn't know how to do this. He was looking for a chart very similar to this. Uh, so we're going to show you how to make this. This has uh, two different columns, uh, one for actual cash position and uh, the cash position. Uh, and then it has a range up here for uh, their target range and it has a line for their what they've achieved. These are percentages and these are uh, tagged to the dollars on the left hand column. And Preet just didn't know how quite to set this up so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, first we need to set up our data in a little bit of a different fashion um, just to make uh, the lower range appear correctly. So this is how we've set up our data. We have our actual cash uh, we have our cash position and <clears throat> we have a percentage uh, of what they've achieved and then right here this is the range that we're going to be creating this lower range we're going to have a no fill uh, stacked area chart type and then the target range will be a stacked area chart type but we'll leave that as a fill color of green uh, and this is going to what's going to create that floating range bar let me show you how to do that so we're first going to highlight the range we're going to go up to our insert menu. We're going to insert a column chart and we're going to insert a 2D clustered column chart. And let's get that a little bit closer over here so that you can see. Um, so it's uh, charted everything as a 2D column chart and you can see the achieved of the target lower range and target range. You can barely see them because they're uh, less than one as opposed to everything else which has a value of about uh, 10,000 and above. So what we want to do is we want to first move those to the secondary axis. And you can do this by trying to select on them, but you can see they're really difficult to select. One thing I suggest is go up to your layout menu, layout ribbon. Uh, and then over here in the um, uh, format or chart elements dialog uh, pull down, you can see right here, here's actual cache, cache position. Here's the achieved range. See it highlighted on there, very small. You can see it's highlighted back here uh, in the column data. And then you can click on Format Selection. So let me get that over here a little bit more. And we are going to move that to the secondary axis. Let's go ahead and choose the target range. And we're going to move that to the secondary axis. We're going to choose the target lower range. And also move that to the secondary axis. OK. so. Um, uh, we've got, uh, you can see now, dollars on the left and percentages on the right. And what we want to do is we have got the target lower range selected. And uh, these two uh, columns here, target lower range and target range, we want to change those chart types to a, uh, a different chart type. We want to change those to a stacked area uh, chart type. So we're going to click on our design ribbon. We're going to click on change chart type. And here we are going to change this to an area. And right here we've got a stacked area chart type. Click on OK. Uh, now next, I will, OK, we also need to change one other one to, uh, so we have our target range set to that. And then this, uh, the target lower range set to a stacked area. We need to change the target range to a stacked area. So back on the design ribbon, change chart type, area, stacked area, click on OK now stacks the two of those on top of each other. So this is going to be our range. This is going to be the no-fill range here in the purple. Um, the final thing we need to do is we needed to change uh, the line, which is called the achieved line. Um, now selected that, those, those green columns right there. And we need to go to our design ribbon, hit change chart type, and we want to make that a line chart. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, this purple, uh, if I click on the purple uh, range right here, which is the target lower range, uh, and then right click on it, click on Format Data Series, I am going to change the fill type of this to No Fill. And now we have our target range showing up there um, as floating in midair. So that's what the client was looking for, what Parit was looking for. I'm going to right click on the line, Format Data Series, and change the line color of that to a red color. Click on OK. Um, and I think we had this set to green, so we're going to change this floating range fill color uh, to green. Click on close. 
and we're getting pretty close. The only uh, there's only a couple of things that we need to do. Um, one thing uh, the uh, that we want to do is the legend over here. You can see there's no color here for this target lower range. It was really a dummy series just to make sure that we have our target range floating in midair. So I'm going to click on the legend and I want to delete that specific legend item. I'm going to click on that legend item and hit the delete key. Uh, and now the only other issue that we have is the target range box is not going out to the very end. It's sort of floating in mid-December, mid-January, which is uh, what it should be doing. But the way we can change this and make this go out to the very edge of the columns is we want to um, click in anywhere in the chart, go up to the layout ribbon, and we want to go to the axis group and click on the axis button. The secondary horizontal axis we want to show left to right. Uh, we can now see those in there. I'm going to right click on that one click on format axis on the secondary horizontal axis. Then we want to change the position on axis to on tick marks, which means it's going to move it out to the edges. Uh, and the final thing is we do not want to now show that axis anymore, um, but instead of deleting it, we want to just hide it by clicking on none for major tick mark type. Tick mark type. And then axis labels, we want to choose none as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. I think we've done everything here that the client needed. Hopefully this helps Parit uh, do his chart. We've got the range here from 90 to 110 percent. We've got uh, the different columns of uh, data for dollars and percentages. And let's take a look. Uh, why are we doing 90 to 10, 20 percent? Um, with the target lower range, we want to have it go up 90 percent, and that's the no-fill area. And he wanted the target range to be from 90 to 110 percent. So what we need to do is add on another 20% to the 90, and that's this green area right here. So that gives us the range from 90 to 110%, and uh, that's what Preet was looking for. So uh, once again, please visit excel-boardtemplates.com and sign up for my blog uh, so that you can get the latest charting techniques and also learn some fun, th cool things in Excel. Thanks, and have a great day.